I just had to jump back and drive to Vertex, and I'll tell you why in a minute. After failing again and again and again, I finally got the hang of it. So the other day I was scrolling through Steam and this one caught my eye, Rev to Vertex, which has been developed by Plutonization, a small development team led by Grand Prix races in Hong Kong. So I thought this is unlike anything I've seen. I tried and I failed, but I posted the video anyway. And then this guy here, he liked my uh, my sense of humor, but gave me some really good tips and advice. And, and I thought, you know, who, who's this guy? So I, I clicked on their channel and I found out they made the environment. Now my video only got 100 views, so so for me, for me that was a big thing. This this game is absolutely stunning, and it's unlike any racing rally circuit game out there because you don't win by f crossing the finish line. Instead, you engage in tough battles on the fly, rivaling street races and all that good stuff. So I spent a good two or three hours sharpening up my skills and taking his advice. And, uh, and I'm back, so I, I hope you enjoy checking this out with me. So, I still, I still need a bit of brushing up for sure, but um, one thing I want to say is I'm running a 3060 Ti overclocked, and last time I jumped in here I put all the settings up to like hyper and messed around with it, and that's what messed up the, the trees not loaded in. It, um, it's actually really smooth, the graphics are, are on point, also, I was slamming down on the throttle, and you don't want to do that. You want to you want to ease in on the throttle. So, a controller or a, a re racing steering wheel with pedals is, is highly advised if you're playing a racing simulator. Lots of you are probably experienced race sim drivers, but um, if you're not, this is not like Need for Speed or Midnight Club or any of those games that I used to love. This is a this is a full-on simulation. So you got to you got to use that clutch, or you well you can use automatic if you're a casual gamer. You can also jump in here and have some fun. But you got clutch, you got ABS, you got traction control, you got yeah. There's there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of there's a lot of forces at play, shall we say? And uh, yeah, the last video I made, I, I did actually want to make a, a serious video on this game. So that's that's another reason I'm back in here playing around. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see the full game, and uh, maybe by that point we could actually get a racing steering wheel and stuff. Whoa, I'm still messing up. Oh, we, we're back on the track there, we do have a reset button. But yeah, this is, this is amazing. You should definitely check it out. If you're into racing sims, this could be the one for you. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still a bit rough around the edges. But, uh, but this game is a lot of fun, and another another thing about this one is uh, you get a real sense of achievement when you when you make it around the, the circuit without crashing, which I have. Then uh, it's it's a it's a it's a much better feeling than you get from all these other all these other recent games that I've tried. This is a free to play demo available on Steam. The release date is coming soon. I'll leave a link down below. Do check it out. So another cool thing, once you finish your lap, you'll get a, you'll get a nice little replay. So I'll leave you with some of that replay. I hope I did this game a bit more justice. I hope you like Asian Trap. And I hope to see you in another one.